so what we're gonna do here is you notice like here there's a big gap we're figuring we're about three-eighths of an inch back too far a little bit of a gap here I'm guessing that should be closed right up oh yeah that's good and snug right in there okay so we think we're about three-eighths of an inch pushed back and when I was looking you could tell there's a little bit of a bow in this panel here and you can see here the doors are slightly overlapping even but we were looking at this last night and you can tell there's a crinkle in the door here where it must have jammed up against the door jam and a crinkle down here this should be a little bit flatter through here so it's got a good little buckle to it so we're gonna get crazy we got the truck warming up I think what we're gonna do is just kind of put the weight of the truck on it a little bit and try to pull that forward I think it's gonna work on we'll see <laughs> a vote of confidence so I might just set the camera up to record this and we're gonna go all right so what we're doing here is that you can tell that door is back a little bit and that pan the a pillar is kind of bowed in just a little bit so we're just doing what we can figure out here so we got just the nylon toe strap hooked up to the truck and we're just kind of letting the weight of the truck kind of go ahead and then uh, kind of put it in drive and let it pulse get some tension on there and we're just kind of yanking on it so I'll leave it on in the garage Owen's cleaning up he bought a new fender for the GTI got a red door on we're working there. on the Volkswagen so you can see it's all covered up here trying to keep some overspray off of it I think we did a pretty good part it's just dust I think um, but we got the whole door painted got the fender painted you know we used this uh, this is just some of the crap we used here. So just some cheap uh, duplicolor, clear coat, action grease remover, self-etching primer. 
And then we got paint mixed up at uh, our local Napa. So it's the Pier Omni White for, uh, for the Volkswagen. Owen's putting the door back together. He's got the door striker screws back in. You can see here we got we got some trash and stuff in the paint, but I think the main thing is is we got it painted and it's white. Oh, I see some scratches here yet from our body work. So we're still kind of learning. We're using this as kind of a learning lesson, just getting it good enough to get it back on the car. Then we're going to address this quarter panel in the spring and summer sometime. And uh, just get that straightened out then. And then we're going to basically just redo this whole side of the car when we do that and do the body work properly, do the paint properly, buy actual nice paint and clear coat. And I want to get a nice paint gun. Rattle can. Yeah, it's just in a rattle can, so it's... It's good paint, it's PPG, yeah. which is oh yeah, what quality. But it's out of a aerosol can nonetheless, so you're just dealing with how it gets sprayed out of that nozzle. So in the spring, we'll probably repaint this whole side of the car, spring or summer, whenever we get back to it again. Main thing is, I think we got it all figured out. I think we got the door so it closes pretty decent before we even painted it. So we're gonna go through getting the door mounted and then we'll probably just pop it off at the hinges here. Get that front fender mounted with all the plastic shields back behind it and work on getting the shop cleaned up so we can get this out of here. Um, I'm gonna get it aligned sometime this week. Owen's probably gonna drive my truck for the week. Get it aligned and then this thing will be on the road at least in one piece and all in one solid color even if the paint's not great but i think we did pretty well i think we have what would you say less than 150 bucks in paint and supplies yeah. just to paint the fender and the door yeah. and uh looks like it's matching up Pretty decent. Just a lot more orange peel than yeah, that. Yeah, just a lot more orange peel. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's maybe it's something we could even uh, wet sand, wet sand, and kind of buff out. But but this door definitely it needs. It's got a little chip in the paint there that we never fix. Some trash got in the paint, so we'll have to at least sand that down. Got some runs in the clear coat. Um, maybe some of that stuff could be sanded out, but I can definitely see sanding scratches here from when we did the body filler but all in all it looks pretty good just not uber glossy current status so owen's out here working on the volkswagen das auto as he would say we got the door hung oh look at that he's got the plug you got that on yeah okay he's been fighting this for a little bit and we didn't get that good plug. hour yeah, at least an hour. So we finally got the kick panel pulled off and there's a plug from the inside that comes up here. This one slips in with the little latch that gets pushed down to hold it in place. There's like up. a, it has this outer piece with a latch that pushes down and then the inner plug like slips into this outer sleeve in a certain way. And then that like plugs into the body. But the body plug was just slipping in and out of the car. Yep, so the body plug wasn't latched into place. So luckily Owen was able to get to it after getting the kick panel out. Now we'll see if he can get the kick panel back in. That'll be the next thing. But I know Owen, he, he'll get it figured out. So we got that on there. He's got the fender on, kind of lined up. We got the door on. It's pretty good, but it kind of sticks out just a little bit at the back edge here. The trailing edge so it looks like the the door sticks out like i don't know a 30 second or 30 second and a half so like a millimeter yeah, or two whatever you want to say no, I can't. oh I could. but he's he's got it pretty well under control here but we do have the door on here and it's yeah it could be a little better but it's we're pretty happy with where it's at oh, oh yeah you, you got your oh, fender. oh no Opening? No, it's not going. All right. Well, 
More work to do. The door runs into the fender. Um, okay, next thing, I guess. So. We were having trouble before with this door hitting at the front edge of the fender. Right now, I think it's, yeah, it's scraping. It still is. But it's at least opening now without catching the fender. So what we're thinking is, when we got this door, this door is all bent out along this front edge or something. Just having issues getting things aligned here. Because here at the top, it's pretty much in line. Well, here at the bottom, it's sunk in, but that would mean this would push out even further. Yeah, it's so, as good as it's gonna get. Well, the fender, we kind of bowed the fender out down there to make it clear at least a little bit. I think we got some more work ahead of us, so. But at least it's kind of going together, not lining up as nice as we were hoping it would have. And we're kind of thinking it's this door since it was bent on the front edge of the yeah, door. Yeah, it's still definitely bent. Yeah, but I think that whole front edge of the door might be bent out. Yeah, it should, because it lines up here until about there or so. And does it line up again until all the way down here? Yeah. It's going to be a pretty consistent bend. Yeah. All right up the door. So, I think we got a little more work to do. It was kind of deceiving because you didn't really see the marks on the inside of that door before we painted it. So. Mm -hmm. Well, now, fender liner, interior. I think that's it. Yeah. And then more body work in the spring, but I think we'll address that when we address the quarter panel and get this thing really straightened out. This door gap, well, actually the door gap from here looks good, but it just looks out of whack here because it's kind of stuck out a little bit there. But we'll get there. It looks a lot better than it did when we first got it because this door was actually back to about here, right? Yep. So at least we got our hinges pulled forward. Things are kind of lining up, kind of coming together. Again, we're just learning. We're newbies to all this wreck car business. So. But kind of learning a little, kind of learning from Owen, helping him. So we'll see how the Mustang comes back together when that time comes. <laughs> 